don't really know when to start this vlog, but I peed this morning. <laughs> I, I peed. Yeah, I think my water might have broken this morning, but it's weird because like you don't really know the feeling. You can't. It's really weird to explain. So we're going into the hospital to double check, basically. And just because the water's broke doesn't mean I'm gonna actually gonna go into labour. But I've had backstory. I've had about three sweeps, and none of them really worked because my centimeter things were too big like you have to get to the top and they only got like halfway like there but you have to get to the top basically so now we're on the way so i guess this is the start of the um birth vlog and she's meant to be induced tomorrow anyways so <gasps> well that bird really died anyways but um <laughs> that... like a mad contraction no 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 Oh yeah, that's also what I need to update you on. I have been contracting. Okay. Yeah, there's like different types of contractions. The ones when you know like, oh my God, the labor's coming. So, is when um, it feels like period cramps. Cause there's like ones that are like hard rock and your baby just goes hard and they're called like Braxton Hicks and that's, and that's just calm. And then there's ones where it's like shooting pains up your ass crack. And then there's ones like shooting pains in your badge. So, and I'm getting them and it's like and when your back your lower back starts to ache mm -hmm. so that's what i've been having the past couple of days the whole family is kind of excited right now but i need them everyone to relax because um we don't know if i'm actually going into labor um uh, yeah i'm only taking a day off work yes, and we don't even know what's going on and i'm taking the ball again tomorrow okay cool. <laughs> alex is very calm but yeah also there's a troop strike tomorrow so we have to make sure that everything's okay because i was meant to get induced tomorrow anyways this is what i'm saying 8.30 I hope I'm praying to God I don't have to like I'm praying right now that they see me and they're like it's fine you're contracting go home relax yourself and then you know measure your contractions that's what I'm praying that they say so I don't have to get induced because that would just make my day but yeah that's it goodbye everyone I will update you I guess uh, this is scary goodbye bye it's exciting yeah <laughs>
Lil Ava is coming out. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> so I, I will be giving birth. In yep. <laughs> Shin, Shin, Shin. Shin. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow, wow. Wow, wow. So, uh, is he trying to film Ava coming out? Yeah. Ah. Um. She can't talk right now, but I don't know, cause I haven't been with her the whole day. Contraction. Yeah, that's what we'll do. What are you doing right now? Oh, I can't talk much, can ya? It's got paper in your mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when you ate that, the baby's heart rate dropped. No, it did it. Don't say that. <laughs> no, it didn't. It did. It went to 128. They have moved us to the ghetto. Room tour. <laughs> so, and there's someone there, someone across me, over there, what a life, on the NHS. Breathe, do a Sean Paul, breathe, breathe, let it breathe. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, that's the contraction done. And um, it comes and goes like that, but it's not. But what I was saying was the reason why I can't go into my own room with the water bath in it is because I came here when I was 38 weeks, so now I'm no longer seen as low risk because I came here saying that baby wasn't moving as much as she was. It was a false alarm. I was just being paranoid, but they really noted it down, so there's nothing I can do. So I don't know if I'm giving birth in here or if, or if they're going to move me again. But my contractions are still like far apart, we're not like super close yet, so I guess we will see. I really hope I don't give birth in here because then they're going to hear me screaming. We'll find out. Oh, pain. It's going to be pain. Um, when you come to the hospital, just make sure you bring your own food. This is the Jackie Potato. Ice cream, apple juice, butter, salt, pepper. Scrumptious. Oh, Lord. Are you recording me? Yeah. <laughs> My belly's crumbling and I'm really hungry. This is for your YouTube. Hello, YouTube. Oh the guys, it's voice over Maya here. So as we know, my water birth was no longer happening as they now considered me as high risk. But in the morning, literally I'd stay over another night. They moved me over to a labor ward now and they had to break my waters because they were like, we need to get this show on the road. To be fair, I didn't hurt at all. They just put a little hook inside there and broke it. And then they were like, yeah. Hopefully your contractions start getting worse now so we can get the labour pushing. But you'll soon see. But didn't happen and I had to get the hormone drip. The worst idea. Hey, so breaking up the water's worked. Contractions are more? Good, look at how strong they are now. Oh, is it? So you might not need the hormone drip. Hopefully not. Is the water still coming out? Yeah, yeah, that's what it works. Perfect. I'm the little one. <laughs> Alright, dragon. <laughs> Breathe. Do you find as a druggie? Yeah. Take your loons. Balloons. 
Ah, uh, does that feel good? Yeah, because I can't have a good time. That's my favorite. Mom, say hello. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, you're gonna say hello too. <laughs> the people. <laughs> Better people. Love me, Jeffrey. Jesus, what? Like, What just happened? Hey, we are attached to the drip. This drip up there. It's a hormone drip oxytocin that helps loosen up the cervix. The love, That's not what it does. The love, the love, the love hormone. Basically, some people react to the drip, some people react to the drip. Seems like Eva is reacting bad to it. So a whole team of people then just came in. They had to do an emergency thing because our heart rate from mad. And now it's back up. Oh, the guys, editing my hair. I thought that I would explain to you what Drunken High Maya is trying to say. Basically, they gave me the hormone drug to help the contractions get stronger and faster. It got a bit too strong and basically what happened was three times Ava's heart rate dropped because the strength of the contraction was pressuring on her head. And because she was a big baby, not like a small baby, she was literally not wanting to go into the vaginal canal so that I can give birth. She would lift her body up. So the doctor basically said, you need to have a C-section. If you want more details, go into my TikTok. I basically go into depth there, what actually happened and how emotional I was. But yeah, that's basically what just happened and now I'm getting ready for C-section. Unplanned. Goodbye. And I have this thing stuck to my leg that makes me pee. Things even have to tell you that. Now I feel better because I pee. Do you want to record? Okay. Baby's too fat. And then... And the position. No, she's got Maya's head. No, it's your big the head. The baby's got, basically, the baby's got Maya's head. No, it's your yeah? fat head. And That's she, because really Maya's bare skinny, yeah? Definitely not. Definitely <laughs> not. She won't go through naturally, so you're going to have to have a C-section. Yeah. And apparently, it's done in an hour. And you're not, you're not under, you, you don't go, they don't put you to sleep. You just have a crap load of drugs in you and then they put a shield up and then they just take her out yep and then that's it. back up yeah Yay. but it looks like it's the safest option right now so yeah Ooh, yeah it wasn't really my plan but it's the safest gotcha. option so i'm just doing that oh where's the gas in there <coughs> that's mine now goodbye oh, the damn gas in there. oh yeah how's it going girl Look how big your belly looks right now. Yes, fine. Hungry. Don't worry. Be after this, you can munch what you like. I hope. Don't cry, madam. Alex, how are you feeling, Alex? Doctor. <laughs> Bit scared, baby. I'm strong for you. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah, Alex, are you gonna pass out when you see the baby? <laughs> I see Maya yeah. is out of surgery. Yeah. And she is rest in peace. So it's all good. And then we have a little surprise. Oh. Hmm. So I just had a C-section. Oh no, that was just a C-section yesterday, and today I'm recovering. Ava in there. Somebody's over there, and I literally just had a shower. My first shower in two days. It feels amazing. Amazing. And I brushed my teeth finally because it was kicking. It was. It smelled like death. I'm so tired. 
So what time is currently 12.30. We gave birth yesterday at 7.24. So I've been there for a while and we've been, we was here in the hospital since, wow, we've been there for two days. Okay. I think I'm getting it wrong. Wow, yeah, okay, cool, sweet. You're not really allowed to film in here. Um, but baby's good. The baby is good. My belly. I have to wear these nappies. And that's it. Goodbye. Uh, mm. Fast asleep.